Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kronky's Single Player Survival Minecraft. Kronky here, and as you can see we have an AF Kang at the Guardian Farm that we built in the last episode. And a few things I wanted to patch up before I left. As you can see, we have a bunch of spiders and zombies and other things spawning around the area which is reducing our spawn rates. So I want to go ahead and fix that. I'm going to light up these perimeters and the perimeter of the farm. And there's also one more thing that I wanted to do before I left to increase the efficiency here. But as you can see, like I've already grabbed a bunch of sea lanterns, so this is probably all I need for the base right now. But I do want to make those efficiency changes before I head back. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll see you guys down there. As you can see, the, uh, the one chest is not enough to grab all of our stuff. But that's fine. Like I said, I already got pretty much all I need. And for right now, I just want to light this area up and then do a few extra efficiency things. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab some coal and some glass. We're going to first craft up enough sticks to make some torches. And then now I also want to make a few glass panes and 16 that should be enough let's grab some sand as this will be the easiest to clean up and find a spot where we can scaffold up so as you can see i lit up the perimeter of the farm and i'm gonna head down here because there's another thing that i wanted to do but on second thought i don't know if this is actually gonna work I already put one in, but I wanted to put glass panes here so that the water would flow over and they wouldn't jump around and they just fall in. But I just now realized that the water doesn't actually go all the way to this edge and therefore the glass really does nothing. So I'm actually going to change this back because it's not as pretty as having that there. And then we're going to go back up here, if I can. Let's see, let's grab some sand. And clear out the sand and head up. So that's actually not going to do as much. But we can finish up lighting up the perimeter so that only guardians will spawn in this area. So I'm going to go over there and I'll start lighting things up. And with that, most of the guardian farm is finished. I mean, later on, we're going to have to get in there and start building more chests. But like I said, I have enough sea lanterns for now. And I also have a bunch more prismarine crystals, so now I can craft up even more. But yeah, everything's looking finished here. It's time to head back to the base. Now, normally we would jump into the portal. We'd go down another hub and we'd find ourselves at the base. However, I don't know the coordinates to the nether portal at my base. So for one last time, we're actually gonna look at these coordinates just in case I have these somewhere, but I just wanna grab another one. So we'll screenshot that. And now we're going to, for the last time, walk back to the base. We're gonna make a portal and we'll create the nether hub to this guardian farm. So as usual, I don't want to bore you with the trip, so I am going to head back to the base. I'll see you there. Home sweet home, we're back in the hole, and I'm kind of glad that we don't have to be making the trip back and forth anymore. But uh, our chicken farm, it's been kind of backed up while we we're gone. This whole area is inside the spawn chunk, so as long as we're online, this is supposed to generate us some chicken. But uh, yeah, the feathers... They did get backed up, and that's been keeping our farm from filling up. Or, yeah, our chicken farm from filling up. So I've just been taking these feathers, and I've been tossing them out. I could make a sorting system that would automatically destroy all the feathers. But, you know, at this point, we have enough chicken to last us quite a while, so I'm not too worried about it. Now, one of the reasons I'm here is because I no longer have a lot of things that... I used to have because I, as you guys may remember, I died 
while we were working on the guardian farm. And so I do not have a pickaxe, which now, now I do. I don't have pants. My helmet's about to go. My shoes are about to go. But, uh, yeah. We are quite low on things. But at the same time, it's, it's not a huge problem at the moment. Um, it seems like I used up all my diamonds to make those pickaxes and swords and whatnot. All the armor. So, we're kind of short on that. We probably need to do some resource mining. Did I put anything in here? I did not. So yeah, I'm actually going to head back to the base first. So I can start putting in all my sea lanterns that I got in the last episode. And I already dropped them off at the base because I needed to clear up some inventory to grab all the things that we needed. And yeah, we're now going to head back to the base and I'll see you guys there. I really miss this base. I mean, we weren't gone too long, but still, I did miss it quite a bit. I'm just gonna drop some things off in these chests, things that we don't need at the moment, and then pick up our sea lanterns. And we probably don't need this many right now, but you know, it doesn't hurt to carry more. And I kind of forgot what my design was. So I'm gonna go up to the top. Another excuse to ride the elevator. And I do believe this block right here was supposed to be a sea lantern. And then it was this block here. Is this one on this block here? Yeah, so every third block would be a sea lantern. This corner here would be the third block, so you can't see it. So it's not a huge issue. And goes over one, two, okay, maybe not every third block, but I mean, you get the idea. This one right here, this one right here, and yeah, that's all for up here. Now we gotta go down here and start doing the same. I believe it's right here. Do we start on this level? I think I did. You know, I, I'm, I'm going to have to go back to my creative world and see how I set everything up. But I do believe this is how it went. And... You know what? I'll be right back. Okay, I was wrong. And this is going to be a bit of a waste because I don't have Silk Touch. But it's actually... the uh, The next level up that we're supposed to be building our sea lantern. So I'm going to fix this up. And then it's going to go up every two. Just like it does the cross. So up two and then across two. I'm going to finish this going all the way up and I'll see you guys at the top. We got the sea lanterns in and everything's looking a lot brighter. We've removed most of the torches and everything's looking nice. So let's take a ride up, see how everything looks. And I'm really liking it. Everything up here is looking nice. So let's head back down. There's one thing that I did want to change. This whole entrance area is nice and all, but it's a feeling a little bit claustrophobic. So I'm actually going to raise the roof. No pun intended. We're gonna put the sea lanterns here, follow the pattern across. So these two will be sea lanterns. And then this will all be white concrete. I want to carry that across on the ceiling and on these walls. And these walls as well. So I'm going to do that real quick right here. I, I always feel like the entrance of your base is the most important. Because whether you have a huge like castle or a underground hidden base or whatever it is you might have really the first impression of your base will always be your entrance. So I feel that having a nice clean entrance does wonders for your base really. And I think I might even want to pull this back to give it a little bit of depth. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, I like that. 
The next thing I want to do with the base is now that we have our entrance pretty well set, I want to start pushing this back so that we have space to start building out all the parts of our base. And I was thinking maybe we'll do something like mirror this over here. I don't actually have any white concrete at the moment. So you know, just imagine those are white concrete and we'll bring this wall out. I'm, I haven't decided yet whether I want to do the wall coming out to like here and then have a open space in the middle or just have the walls stop right here and then we can go all the way back and it's just a big wide open area. You know, I'll decide that once I have some more white concrete because at the moment I'm flat out. I don't have any concrete actually. It was all used for the, uh, the Guardian farm and yeah, I made a bunch of black concrete, so I don't even have any gravel to make that. We will probably have to do a little resource mining so that we can get enough gravel to build out this area. It's going to use a lot of concrete, so a lot of gravel is what we need. We'll probably go into an ocean and, you know, farm that out. Or we just pick this up. I mean, that works. Anyways, I'm going to dig this back and I'll give you an idea of how far this is going to go back. Um, basically, I went back into creative just, just to see how far I could go without poking out the back of the mountain. And I have a good idea of where I need to be. So next thing you see is this whole area cleared out to the area that we wanted to be in. We've cleared out the area that we're going to be using for, I suppose, our grand hall. And as you can see, this goes back about 24 blocks and is about 11 blocks wide. And as I mentioned, I needed some white concrete. All this down here was all gravel. So I was able to actually craft up some white concrete. And I'm going to put in these first blocks here and over here. And I don't know if I want to just leave it at this point and have a large entrance or make it a little smaller so it's like a three by three entrance and you know looking at it like this coming from inside it kind of makes more sense that it'd be a three by three entrance and then you come here and then you have this wide open area and i'm going to be putting this in like this here just to add a little bit of a little bit of detail kind of mirror this area over here and I'm going to carry this back we're going to be putting what are these sea lanterns here here and here and as you can hear there's some zombies which means we're really close to the the end of this mountain they're all over here I'm pretty sure if I block broke this and went up a couple we'd be right at the top but uh yeah, we're not going to do that right now. These corners will also carry the same corners over there. And then we're going to carry off a every third block is going to be sea lanterns. Like so. And of course, everything you see here, this is all going to be white concrete. And it should go all the way to the end. And as you can see, we're poking in right to where our, our door mechanisms are. So this is a really tight area. There's not much we can do in terms of like redstone here. So our entrances to the next portions of our base will probably be in this area here. Um, another thing I want to do is in the middle, just to break things up, have like a pillar that helps hold up the ceiling. I like how that looks. Like I said, all this will be white concrete. The floor will be white concrete. The ceiling will be white concrete. Everything will just have a really industrial feel to it. So let me mirror this over here on this side and we'll put in our sea lanterns as well. It'll help light up the area so we don't get any unwanted visitors while we're working on this. Anyways, I'm gonna keep filling this in and I'll probably put some sea lanterns up top as well going down and we'll see how it looks in a bit. Now I've had a little bit of a change of heart. I've changed the design up a little bit. So we're going to go in from the observatory area. 
I love that door. And we're gonna walk in, and as you can see, it's a little bit wider than it was before. I decided to push this back so that this kind of mirrors this action over here. And then as you go in, I push this wall back one block and everything else just one block. I patched up all the holes so that it didn't look so awkward, but yeah, everything is exactly how it was, just one block further back. And I really like it. It makes this place a lot more wider. I can clear out these uh, these torches now, since we have the, the sea lanterns in place. And you can see that these sea lanterns go all the way back following the pattern, and everything looks good. All we gotta do now is fill in all these floors and the ceilings with white concrete. Unfortunately, we only have like 47 blocks left, so that's not really gonna work. Well, at least not for this episode anyways. Uh, with all these sea lanterns in the ceiling, I can remove all of these. And we should have pretty much what we're going to have, just not as pretty. Yeah, I like it. It's nice and wide and each of these areas right here will make for a nice corridor. We have four sections and yeah, everything looks nice. I'm really happy with this. Now, since I don't have any concrete, I can't finish up the inside of my base, but there is one thing that I kind of wanted to work on and it's keeping mobs out of my base pretty much. Um, how it is now, you know, zombies can just walk right in and that's not the greatest thing there is. So I'm going to fix that and I'm going to put a little simple one by two door here and it's going to be button powered. And this is actually a lot harder than I thought it would it would be just because of the space constraints that we have. Um, behind here, we really don't have all that room. I kind of wanted to put it here, but at the same time, that would mean it would pop up here and I'd have to do some terraforming. And, you know, it's not my thing right now. So I'm just going to build this here. I took way too long making this door. It's a simple one by two door, but... I can't build on camera. I, I was trying to talk and explain what I was doing and it, yeah, it just didn't work. So I'm speeding this up. Basically what I'm saying here is I have this one by two door that I want to make. There's not a lot of space and I need to fit it in here. You know, we could do this and that, but it didn't work. And yeah, so basically that's it. And there we go. We have our door. We're going to hit the button. We can leave. We have to be close to the button, but yeah, we can get through. It closes automatically. And yeah, it works. So I'm going to get some sleep before there's some mobs. But everything's working as it should. Now let's just test this one more time. We're going to run in here. The door is closed and the button is fairly hidden. I mean, if you knew it was a button, you'd know it was a button. But if not, you know, it's kind of hidden. And we're in, we take our elevator up. And we're at our grand entrance. Everything's looking good. I just need to get some white concrete and we'll be finished with this area. Now, some of you guys may remember my last episode. There was a giant green screen that popped up, I think two or three times during the episode. And the reasoning for that was I forgot to set up the green screen for my subscribe animation. And uh, yeah, it just came out as a huge green screen with don't forget to subscribe across the screen. And, and I guess it was had an impact that you could see that I had a subscribe animation, but it kind of blocked everything. So I apologize about that. The reasoning that happened was because I work on these videos really late at night and I just I can't get enough sleep. I hit the uh, render button without going through my video and yeah, it slipped through the cracks and I apologize about that. To prevent that from happening today though, I am going to cut this episode really short, relatively short, I guess. And I'm going to cut this here. Um, we didn't do a whole lot, but we are starting to expand our base and I feel that's pretty exciting. I hope you guys do as well. Um, even though there wasn't a whole lot going on, I hope you guys liked the episode. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you gave me a like, and I'd appreciate it so much more if you subscribed. 
And for those of you that have already subscribed, already liked, you know, thank you so much. And I hope you guys are with me and enjoy the content that I have for a long time. Anyways, with that, I'm going to get out of here. I need to get to editing this video so it goes out on time and then get some sleep so I don't make any more mistakes on my videos. Uh, anyways, it was fun talking to you guys and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Have a good night. Bye.